I'm Curtis Boland. I'm the director of the Casco Bay Estuary Partnership. You've met Jeremy, who's with the Wells Reserve, a little further south. Um, we've been really excited to get people on the islands trying to think and look at what's happening in the marine environment around here. And Jeremy has been a really big help for us, so I'm glad you guys got to spend some time with him. We will, uh, I think at this point, both of us will be able to help you with trying to figure out what's on some of the docks and some of the things we're seeing out here. Um, and I think mostly, I think we should look at this, there's a lot of really interesting creatures to look at. And so just seeing what's here, there's a lot to learn and a lot of fun to have, I, at least for me, I, I love this stuff. So um, I hope you all enjoy it too. Um, other, do we want to do any? These two docks over here, you guys all probably know this, but I didn't. These two are in permanently, those are in seasonally, and they're really different, which is kind of neat. Yeah. So we can look at docks that are in year-round versus docks that are not, and see what's different about them, which is kind of neat. So there's more things on these docks, but different things over there. So it'll be fun to see what the difference is. So, so what we'll be doing is we want you all to be exploring and seeing what you find. We're looking for, I've got this little nice set of cheap sheet. Um, which which I need because I'm not as good as Jeremy. Um, and I'm hoping that what we'll do is we want you all to look and see what you find and come talk to me or to Jeremy and we'll try to figure out what we're finding and hopefully we can provide some answers to things. Looking out, remember we talked about tunicates today in the classroom, solitary and colonial tunicates. Why don't you guys be looking out for those? Okay? I saw four different species of tunicates looking very, very quickly out here. Well, there you go. Uh, so three I know are invasive, one I suspect is invasive. So we, we should we should see lots of them today. Cool. Well, let's do it. Let's go okay. start getting... So should we all be at the start? Spikes from his eye. Yeah, very good. That's right. Do you remember what I called this body part here? Started with a C. Socket. Socket? No, that's the eye socket. That's where you count the spikes from. Very good, yeah. See your enemy. It's called the carapace. Oh. Okay. To see if folks could figure out what that is from the cards. Okay, so can I have colonial tunicates here and see if we can figure out what that guy is, all right? Well, you can remember that it's called the star tunicate. Okay, because it looks like it has stars okay. on it. Good. It is. Hey, great find. We're going to look at that guy in just a second. We'll, we'll put him on the car. This is didendum. It's a type of colonial tunicate, which is uh, causing a real lot of problems down in the Cape Cod area. It grows on ropes, lobster traps, and um, follows up lines and stuff pretty I take my hand lines and look very closely at this. Can I try? I can see those spines on his back. So that lets me know that that's the invasive species, not the... So you have to put this. Yeah, you're doing it right, right like that. Really close. Now put your eye really close to that. See that? Spines. You can see the spines, right? The last we'll do is their traps get covered with this. Yeah. And, you know, they need to get it off so they can fish their traps properly. A lot of folks will power wash it on the docks to get it off. Well, unfortunately, these things can reproduce by fragmentation. So when you power wash these and send tiny little specks of this in the water, every one of those specks is going to recling and form a new colony. So it's really a great way of spreading that. Oh. <laughs>